And speaking of thrill rides, inside the museum is Revenge of the Mummy. Now, completely different versions of Revenge of the Mummy exist at three Universal Parks. I've only been to the two US versions, and between them, I find the Orlando version far superior. Granted, some might disagree. The California version is far less jokey, playing the story completely straight, and it does have a longer backward part, but I still love the East Coast version. And I know I don't say that about many rides. Despite the fact that I don't really care one way or another about the Mummy movies, this is one of my favorite coasters of all time, for the coastering and the theming combined. The conceit here is that they're in production of another Mummy sequel, but the crew is concerned about an actual Mummy curse. A concern Brendan Fraser scoffs at. So why don't we put this on? What, because Imhotep's gonna come and get me? <laughs> well, let's just say it could happen, okay? Let's just keep this on today. That's all right. Terrific. Thank uh, you. You're doing great. Thanks Thank a you. lot. He sends a PA to go get him coffee, but the PA is mummified and his soul is stolen by Imhotep, who threatens to steal yours next. With your souls, I shall rule for all eternity. And then the insanity begins. Welcome to a magical journey through my mouth. And the ride's over. Or is it? Prepare to forfeit your souls. Eternal Damnation was never so fun! Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed yourself. I would have enjoyed this interview a lot more if I had gotten my cup of coffee! Thank you. Thank you. And the undead PA kills Brendan Fraser before he can insert himself into the Dudley Do-Right ride. 